I'd love to get him on camera, just even from a follow standpoint. Oh, there, there's. I got him. I think it's a pike. Oh, I think it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. Dang. Yeah, I was happy with him. Hey, easy, 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 easy. What's up, Yens, guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. It has been an extremely long work week. I've got about 70 hours in. I got my rum and coke, and I am ready to talk some fishing. Now, I recently received a question from one of you guys with regards to fishing for trophy pike. In particular, where can we locate and how do we fish for trophy pike right here in the state of PA. Now, for those of you that know me, you guys know that I love to fish for Northern Pike. I've had awesome experiences up into Canada, and I've fished in Michigan, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania area for Northern Pike, and it's absolutely one of my favorite fish to go out and try to catch. Now, I'm not the best at locating fish. However, my goal with this video is to try to provide you guys with some useful information that will hopefully put you guys on more trophy northern pike throughout the state of Pennsylvania. Okay, the two seasons I'm gonna focus on in this video is number one, spring, and number two, fall. I'm not much of an ice fisherman, and I really don't fish for northern pike or muskie throughout the, the heat of summer. So with that said, we're gonna start with spring tactics, and they're gonna work our way into fall tactics, and it'll hopefully be beneficial for you guys. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start with this diagram. And in this diagram, you're gonna see five locations and all five of these locations are gonna hold trophy Northern Pike in the spring. So how we're gonna read this particular diagram is A is number one, B is number two, C is number three, D is number four, and E is number five. Number one, mouths of swampy creeks and on flats just offshore of those creek mouths. You guys are gonna to wanna to check your creek mouths, locate that three to 10 feet of water range, and that will help you locate those trophy northern pike early in the spring. Number two, we know that after ice out, pike are gonna to graduate to those secondary coves because they warm up before the main bay or the main lake. The pike really spawn in the shallows or in and around flooded timber usually at the edges of areas that are warmer. So if you guys find those warmer areas of the lake in those coves, you're gonna be able to use bucktails or some kind of inline spinner on those flats or at the mouth of those creeks and you're going to produce bigger pike. Number three, look for shoreline structure like beaver dams, flooded timber, or downed trees. Pike love those beaver dams, and in general, they love flooded timber. So you're gonna to wanna to work your way into those areas, fishing flats on the way to those structure points. Number four, as the spring sun kind of warms the lake, and in particular, the, those bays, the weeds are gonna to start to grow. And we know that pike move to cover near drop-offs. Weedy points make a great fishing spot as well as mid-bay weed shoals. Now, one tip for those types of areas, spinner baits. If you guys can get your spinner baits adjacent to that weed edge in those areas, you're going to produce trophy northern pike. So number five, you guys are gonna to wanna to look for deep water weed lines that have access to even deeper water. So if you guys find a good weed structure in six to 10 feet of water, 
that's going to drop off to 20 to 25 feet of water, that's an excellent location to locate your trophy northern pike on any body of water. Now, generally speaking, guys, your 10 pound or more northern pike, they're going to move out of those shallows fairly quickly, especially when the water temperature starts rising. They're going to head for colder water and deeper water. So what that means for you guys is get your vertical jigging rigs out, find your deep weed edges and start vertical jigging for those northern pike, especially as the temperature warms up. And I promise you, you will run into some trophies throughout the state of Pennsylvania. All right, so what about the fall? We talked about spring, time to talk about the fall. The fall is one of the absolute best times of the year for you guys to get your butts out on the water. And in particular, it's an excellent time of year to fish for trophy pike. The pike are in the shallows because the water temperature is cooling down. Those pike are chasing mass amounts of bait fish, trying to fatten themselves up for the winter. Now these fish are also notoriously spooky. So there are two things that are required to be effective when you're fishing for them in the fall. Number one, long casts. You do not want to get up on those fish in your boat and spook them. You want to get away from that shoreline and away from those shallows and make long targeted casts up to the shoreline or into the shallows. Number two, realistic bait presentations. We got to match the hatch first and foremost. So you have to understand what body of water you're on. So if it's Glendale, you know that primarily is going to be small crappy and small perch. You know, if you're on a lake like Lake Arthur, you know it's going to be all life. You have to match the hatch and the color in order to entice those fish. Now, in order to fish for northern pike in the fall, you have to make sure that you have the right equipment. Those fish, again, they're spooky. They're in shallow and they're easily spooked. So talking about long casts, you guys are going to want to use a seven to an eight foot rod in order to make those long precision casts. Medium to heavy action is going to give you enough durability and strength in that rod in order to do that style of fishing. But another thing is when you guys are making those long casts, you have to be able to fish those baits from a long distance. So the longer rod will give you a lot more leverage when you're working those baits on the top of the water and it'll really help you with your hook sets as you start hooking fish. Now, as far as the reel goes, I usually work with a low profile reel. Um, I, I typically stay with Abu Garcia. Um, you guys can look at the Revos. They work very, very well. Um, or you can go and get like a C3 or a C4. I personally use those for pike and muskie fishing. They work very, very well. And they're just an overall good reel at a decent price. All right, one other tip for those fall northern pike. Now those really big fat fish, they've gotten really big and fat for a reason, because they're spooky. So one thing that we can do to try to fool them a little bit is use less hardware at the other end of our rod. So what that means is those fish are sometimes line shy. So instead of using like a wire or a steel leader or big swivels, you know, on our fluorocarbon leaders, sometimes we just want to even eliminate that braid. We want to go to maybe an abrasion resistant fluorocarbon, something that's a little heavier, and maybe look at an Albright knot instead of tying on a wire leader to maybe another piece of fluorocarbon that's a little bit stronger in order to try to minimize the amount of hardware that's going to be between, you know, essentially your rod tip and that lure. Those fish get really spooked out by big chunks of metal. So to catch the really, really big fish, sometimes you have to limit your hardware in order to trick them into eating your bait. Okay, a couple more tips for you guys for fall pike fishing. Number one, swim baits. Swim baits are absolutely deadly in the fall. These things will catch monster, monster fish. With the swim baits, do not be afraid to increase your bait size. You can go anywhere from seven to 10 inches and still catch pike. Now this is a mid-sized Medusa, and this is a fairly big bait, especially if you're used to using something a little smaller, 
like a spoon. However, the larger the rubber, the bigger the fish. If you guys want trophy northern pike, you will throw big rubbers in the fall and maybe even pick up a muskie. Another tip for the fall, always do your best to match the predominant bait fish hatch in that lake. So again, Lake Arthur, all wife. We know the all wife population is through the roof. Glendale, you know it's gonna be small crappie and small perch and small bluegill and bass. Those type of natural colors work very, very well. Also, you have your shiner population. So sometimes golden shiner works very, very well in some of these other lakes, like Yellow Creek. So it's important that you match the hatch when you're fishing for big trophy pike in the fall. All right, I promise you guys, I'm almost done talking. However, I wanna talk about maybe six types of baits that'll help you guys produce bigger trophy northern pike throughout the entire year. All right, so my six top bait styles for trophy northern pike. Number one, early spring, work in your bucktails. Bucktails like these. Now, the bigger the blades, the bigger the pike. You're gonna to wanna to work these puppies slow early in the season, but I promise you they will produce trophy pike. Number two, early season spoons. How many times have you guys gone up north to Canada or maybe popped these out in the spring and caught northern pike? These daredevils are one of the best all-time baits for fishing really any species, but in particular for northern pike. The flutter, especially in deep drop-offs, produce a lot of fish. Another really awesome bait is bigger plugs. So in this case, I have the Rapala Super Shad in that golden shiner color. And I also have the standard Vader, which is an F-18 Rapala original floater. Big plugs like these will run shallow in the spring. As the water warms, you're gonna to wanna to find deeper running crankbaits with a big profile that'll run in that 10 foot range and I promise you those fish will be attracted to those style crankbaits. Now the number four method really has to do with vertical jigging. Now I prefer the John Bondi baits for musky fishing, but they also work very, very well for pike fishing. But another method you guys can do when the water gets about 60 degrees or a little higher, you're gonna find that deeper water and you guys can vertical jig big swim baits. Big swim baits like Medusas like that or even the Bulldogs will drive those big fish crazy. They can't resist a big rubber bait like this. And that's going to produce those big trophies a little bit later in spring. One last thing with these though, you want to make sure you're giving them a good rip. So you want this thing hopping about two to three feet off that bottom in order to spark those strikes early in the season. Number five, late spring topwater action. My favorite all-time topwater bait is right there. The Larry Dahlberg Whopper Plopper. It's got the rattle, it's got the pure volume of water, it's got a great profile on this. This is a 130 series. I've got a bunch of 90s for bass, and the 130 works very, very well for pike and muskie. You run this bad boy over shallow weeds late spring, just watch those fish explode out of the water on your bait. It's fantastic, give it a shot. All right, last but not least, my favorite all-time Northern Pike bait is the standard spinner bait. And I wanna show you guys this, cause this is a huge deal to me. This is a Terminator spinner bait that I took with me up in Canada. Now, if you can see that, that bait used to be red and that skirt used to be full. Now I have another example here. This was made by a local company called Death Shimmer. And take a look at that bait. That guy's also chewed up. Pretty beat up. One other thing I wanna show you about spinner baits before we start talking about them. Notice that. That actually used to be a spinner bait, not just the wire and you know the blades. I've had Northern Pike just absolutely destroy my spinner baits. I've caught over 300 some fish in Canada on one trip, just purely using spinner baits. And I've caught a lot of fish in the Pennsylvania area using spinner baits. Early spring, late spring, summertime, 
you guys run those spinner baits adjacent to those weed beds or weed edges, it's going to produce fish. I fish a lot with spinner baits for bass and I've moved a lot of muskie and I've moved a lot of pike while I was bass fishing, especially at Lake Glendale. So what that tells you is spinner baits are an awesome bait overall for trophy northern pike. You guys want to go to a half ounce or bigger in the fall, those fish are gearing up to eat and they will chase those down. One other tip for you though with the spinner bait, it's always nice to add to the profile of this by throwing on maybe a Kitek trailer. If you guys throw on a rubber swim bait on the end of this, it's going to absolutely drive those big trophy pike wild and help you guys get one or two of those in the boat or up on the shore. All right guys, I've compiled a lot of information here. Information that I've learned over the years, information that I've read from in fishermen, information that I've pulled from various books and internet resources. So I'm hoping that you guys found something beneficial that'll help you catch trophy pike right here in the state of Pennsylvania. So if you guys like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you guys like the content overall, you like hearing me talk nonstop, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you guys and the attention that you give me and all the feedback that you give me as well. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. If there's something you guys want to see in the near future, please reach out to me and I'll do my best to get you a video on it. All right guys, tight lines. See you next time. Ah. Ah. Calm down, big boy. No, I ah, got it. Ah. <laughs> Dude, the first cast on the Golden Shiner. <laughs>